In this video I'll be showing you how to use the uh, git map area to come up with the triangular unit graph coefficients used by the uh, my program git real time that will download and compute runoff using these coefficients. Uh, if we go to the help for git real time um, This is Git Real Time version 2.01 now, as of August 30th. If you scroll down to Git Real Time, and under Git Real Time program that does automated downloading and computations, you can see here a uh, triangular unit graph. Click there and we'll, s we'll go down to the uh, Git Real Time method used in uh, computing runoff. If we click on this uh, link to the unit hydrograph method, it'll explain this uh, triangular unit graph a little better. That's by the weather service one. So. Okay, let's go back where we were. Um, what we're trying to come up with is the factors used by Git Real Time in the shift column as described here. And if you don't put in anything for the uh, triangle unit math recession ratio, um, it'll default to 1.67. Also, there's a rate factor on which the initial loss recovers from rainstorm to rainstorm in real time, and I use 0.2. Just remember that there, if you add uh, additional triangular unit maps, as I will be showing you in the graphs, uh, that you'll need to include that point two in your in this line of coefficients. Okay. So, as explained right in this area, I'll show you how to actually accomplish coming up with these coefficients. If we go to the git map area, which we have installed in program files, git map area, git map area.exe. We'll start that up. And we don't have to do anything for this uh, demo other than just start runoff hydrographs. And we'll use a uh, basin area of one square mile as the default lag time one hour. Time to peak, lag times one hour, um, and we'll have one inch in one hour. And uh, let's select uh, the SCS dimensionless graph. That's not our triangular graph, it's just a type of uh, dimensionless graph, one of several. Let's center our peak of our rainfall increments in the middle. And let's change this to five minutes so we can see better stuff. Turn that off in case it tries to compute our lag for us differently. And let's uh, compute the SES dimensionless graph runoff. And there you can see we had 459 CFS, 53 acre feet, and zero losses. We just didn't add any losses. That's okay. Okay, now there's other dimensionless graphs. There's the urban and <coughs> urban one which is a uh, lower peak but more more recession. Uh, choose another one. We could go with uh, I don't know, Great Plains Compute Hydrograph. Well, that's about the same as uh, the SCS Hydrograph. Uh, let me get a... How about this thunderstorm? Rocky Mountain Compute and then see uh, it has a higher peak than the red or initial SCS of general storm. And here's the urban. And they all have slightly different recessions. Okay, let's uh, go back to our SCS and we'll try to emulate the SCS using a triangular unit graph computed. Okay, now let's select the triangle unit graph and it automatically puts in uh, three recession it's going to be using three triangular unit graphs to come up with uh, a simulation of this peak, the inner flow, and the base flow, I guess. 
So let's see how it does. Compute. Man, not bad. It's got the same peak. Not bad through the inner flow and good recession. And you can do that for any of your type of uh, dimensionless graphs. Uh, let's say we wanted to do the Great Plain, or let's do the Urban. Yeah, yeah, Urban. That's probably more yeah. interest. Uh, let's change this to 0.3. Change that uh, to 6. That's uh, if you had a, a lag time of one hour, it would be six hours on the recession. And let's change this to. Uh, Point four, and let's just leave it at one and a half hour recession, and, and leave that at point four. Uh, but let's clear. Oh, let's go to the urban computer. I got a little ahead of myself. Now, if we go to the triangular unit graph, uh, it'll use these compute, and you can see that it's. Uh, with a little more tweaking, you probably do even better than I did. But uh, there you go for that. Now let's go back to our original SCS, which is used a lot. Uh, let's clear everything, compute hydrograph. Now if we look at the default used in Get Real Time, if you don't enter any of these uh, additional triangles, you will get well, let's just see what this point four was actually doing with it. Oops, I gotta get my. Uh, let me clear it again. Clear it. Compute. That's the SCS. Now, if we go to the uh, triangle with the point four recession, which the default is 1.67, you get this very hard, large uh, <laughs> peak because we're putting a. Uh, what we were doing was dividing it up. So let's look at the default. And that's a little better. Uh, just to show you here. Oops. I'll start over with the SCS. Uh, compute. Uh, triangle compute. That's that. We could do a little better if we were to change the default even to 1.3. You get a better peak corresponding there. And this can be, you can even, uh, in wetter climates, you can get a, a long recession ratio. Like this is for four times the lag. So I have four out. Uh, which is coming back east, not out west as much. And so there you go.